Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we are reading from True Off My Chest. Our first post is by Snoodaz. My boyfriend faked a proposal, so I broke up with him. Me, 24F, have been dating my boyfriend Andrew, 26M, for five years now. We've had a healthy and stable relationship up until today. Andrew has always been a prankster and make jokes with me all the time, and I do it to him too, but today he took it way too far. In the morning he woke me up at 7 a.m. and told me to wake up because he wanted to take me to the spa. I was pretty surprised cause it wasn't a special day or anything, but I was all in for it. At the spa, he told me how he wanted to go to a fancy restaurant after we were done at the spa and that he was paying. Of course I agreed, as we hadn't been out together in a long time. We then got to the restaurant. We had a beautiful and romantic dinner and just a nice time in general. We were talking about a house we were planning to move into and chit-chatted about other stuff too. After around 40 minutes Andrew stood up and got on his knees and took out a box out of his pocket. My heart stopped beating. I hadn't even predicted this. We have never talked about proposal before, but I also thought it was a great time now. He did a speech about how I was the most beautiful girl in the world and how he wanted to live with me forever and ended with, will you marry me my princess? Of course I said yes, seconds later, all that excitement turned into horror. He opened the small box I expected he put the ring in and in it was a note saying, you've been pranked, and Andrew started laughing hysterically. He continued with, baby, this was just a prank, I'm not ready at all to marry you yet. He was leaning in to hug me, but I gave him the biggest slap ever with tears streaming down my face, I just told him, we're over you scumbag. I am now sitting in my bed crying and writing this, and I don't know what to do, he's been texting and calling me, but I haven't responded, because I feel so sad, betrayed, and mostly angry, I thought this was going to be one of the best days of my life. What should I do? Update. After I made that Reddit post, I fell asleep crying, then woke up and decided to call my now ex-boyfriend. I told him that it was over and that I didn't want to be together with someone who after five years still isn't ready for marriage and make a big joke about it. He cried and then turned angry and demanded me to stay and told me I was a jerk for leaving him like this after everything he has done for me. He cussed me out so much that I stopped listening at one point, so I don't really remember everything he said. In the end we came to a sort of agreement that we are going to sell the house, and that he will be sleeping in the guest room for now, so today, I've just been scrolling the internet for apartments so I can have a fresh start. He is still not happy about the breakup though. He is trying so bad to get back with me saying stuff the whole day like, can't we be together again? and, this was just a small mistake I made. But the one that did it for me was, don't be so petty and drop it, you know we are happy together and you know you still want me. When he said that I absolutely lost it and called him every single name I could come up with, then slammed my door. I think he also told his family about this whole situation, cause today I got a call from his mom telling me how selfish I was and how I couldn't handle a simple joke, and it ended with her calling me a slut and hanging up the call. After that I've gotten several messages from his other family members, such as his siblings, his dad and even his aunt. I've tried to just block them all, but every now and then comes a new message. I feel like more will happen, but the next update will probably not be in less than a week or so, as I'm gonna try to sell stuff I don't need, find a new apartment, and fix everything with the house and stuff before we put it up for sale. I just want to get out of here as quickly as possible. In the comments True Falsity says it best. My bet is that the story from the ex went like this, Hey mom, the girlfriend went crazy on me because I pranked her with a proposal. But it is obvious that we are too young to marry and I want to be responsible here. Now she wants to sell the house and refuses to talk to me. Do you think you could help, that is, assuming that he even said what the prank was, instead of just brushing it off as just a prank? Our next post is by One Top. I'm getting married in two weeks, and I am totally screwed. I literally need to get this off my chest, I feel like I am going insane. 
my fiancé Sarah, 28F, and me, 34M, have known each other for about six years, engaged for one. Our wedding is scheduled to take place in just two weeks, and I just witnessed something that is making me feel like I am making the biggest mistake in my life. Tonight Sarah and I were taking a rare opportunity to relax at home. Sarah was in the kitchen making dinner while I was out back working on one of my projects. We live on acreage, and I am building a pagoda fire pit in the backyard that we were planning on using this fall. Anyway, as you do when you're doing heavy labor, I get thirsty and come back to the house to get a drink where I see Sarah at the counter preparing dinner and talking on speakerphone. I recognize the voice instantly as my brother-in-law, Marty. Now, this is where my brain gets totally twisted. Marty asks Sarah where her sister Evelyn is as he's been trying to get in contact with her and she's not answering texts and I hear Sarah say to him, she just left here, she should be home in a half hour or so. It should be noted that Evelyn is Marty's wife of five years. I have to admit that I didn't immediately register what she had just said because I went into the kitchen and grabbed a glass and asked Sarah, what was that all about? And she responds with, Marty was looking for Evie. I see her texting and I ask her, what are you doing? And she says, I'm texting Evie that Marty was looking for her. Anyway, I pour myself a drink, sit down, have a sip, and then finally my brain starts to work. First off, I heard Sarah tell Marty that Evelyn was here. Evelyn was not here, and the last time we saw her was yesterday when she came over to work on some last-minute wedding decoration stuff with Sarah. Secondly, why is she texting Evelyn and expecting a response when I distinctly heard Marty that Evelyn wasn't answering her texts? Lastly, why the hell would she tell Marty that Evelyn should be back in 30 minutes unless she either knows where she is, then why did she lie? Or she is, right now in front of me, texting her to tell her to get her butt home quickly. The only conclusion that I came up with is that Sarah is lying to Marty about the whereabouts of her sister, Marty's wife, and is probably warning Evie that Marty will expect her home in half an hour. I then spent probably the next five hours concocting various explanations for this behavior. Some decent, some downright horrible, and playing them back in my head. I wanted really badly to ask Sarah about this, but at the same time, if what I think is going on is going on, then I doubted I'd get a straight answer. Which brings me to about an hour ago. I woke up around 1 a.m. to use the toilet, and I couldn't resist the urge to check Sarah's phone. We both know each other's pins so this wasn't a difficult thing to do. Anyway, I grabbed the phone, retreated to the bathroom, and unlocked it, and yup it was exactly what I was afraid of, and probably what most of you were expecting. Sarah's sister Evie has been having an affair for about six months with a co-worker, and Sarah has been helping Evelyn cover it up for almost that entire time. There are literally hundreds of texts between them discussing it, discussing the co-worker, discussing sex stuff, really embarrassing things about my brother-in-law, and probably uncharitable. Just stuff that makes my stomach churn, and here is my soon-to-be wife going along with all of it without batting an eye. I took some screenshots of the entire thread, put the phone back where I found it, and then retreated to my home office to find myself here typing it all out on Reddit simply so I can avoid the primal scream that wants to come out of my mouth right now. I am totally 100% screwed, Reddit, I cannot marry Sarah. I just cannot do it. I can't think of any reasonable excuse she could offer me about assisting her sister in this affair and victimizing not only Marty, but their two-year-old daughter as well. On the other hand myself, my family, Sarah and her family, have all sunk an enormous amount of money into a wedding that is supposed to happen in around two weeks. There is no way we are getting any of that money back. On top of that, I feel like an absolute fool, like how did I not know this woman was like this, and what the hell am I going to do? I can't marry her, I absolutely cannot. However, I still want to, she's beautiful and fun and kind, and I thought we had a bright future ahead of us. She's never done anything wrong to me, but I just can't see her the same now. It's like a big black stain on an otherwise beautiful picture. 
I just don't know how the F I got this so wrong, and I'm absolutely dreading doing what I know I need to do. I feel like I want to vomit or break something. Edit. Guys, you don't need to convince me to not marry Sarah. That's obvious, the wedding is off. I'm just trying to figure out my next steps and work up the nerve to do it. There's an incredible amount of pressure on me from the expectations of everyone, but I'm not going to buckle under it, I just am not relishing having to deal with the fallout, and I'm more than a little angry that I'm in this situation. Edit 2. It's 5 a.m. I have work in three hours and I'm running off a couple hours of sleep. I'm going to take a shower and head into work a little early to avoid Sarah and stew on this. Thanks to the supportive people here, and a big raspberry to the dill holes, who keep saying, I should figure out whatever good reason my soon-to-be ex-fiancé had for this garbage. And at 3. I got into work around 7. No one was in the office so I decided to start pulling off the band-aid, and I called my brother. He lives in Australia so he was still up after having just put his kids to bed. It was hard breaking the news to him about this, because I know he has laid out a huge amount of money for flights for him and his family to come, but to his credit, as an older brother, he didn't mention it one time, and just backed me up. He made a great point, too, he said, totally paraphrasing, you work in a job where you have to deal with liars and scammers day in and day out. I don't blame you for wanting to have somewhere to go where this isn't a concern. He was totally right about that. And I get now why I am reacting so strongly to Sarah's participation in this deceit. He also had a great idea he was going to take his family down to Florida to do some sightseeing and visit the parks. Well, now the kids will be accompanied by their uncle as well. It should be easy since we were going to honeymoon there as well, and we were planning on meeting them for a bit anyway. I'll just rebook everything to be closer to him and his family, and I'll offer Sarah's ticket to either my sister or another family member. I haven't had time to read everyone's comments, but I have answered a few right now. I'm just sort of making myself sick by drinking cup after cup of coffee and trying to distract myself until the day gets on enough where I can reach out to Marty. Edit 4. Just did morning stand up. My stomach is doing flip-flops from drinking about two pots of coffee since I got in here so early, and I absolutely cannot focus and concentrate. I feel like I can't do anything really from my side until I tell Marty what I know, so I'm just going to take a sick day and drive over to his house and see if he's around. If not, I'll call him and track him down. Marty is a teacher who is on break right now, and Evelyn works a 9 to 5 like me, so odds are good this works out. Wish me luck Reddit. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.